Okay, I'm going to begin with showing you how to empty the magazine tube on a 73. Now, I know people that carry special tools in their gun carts to remove the magazine tube plug so they can take out the spring and the follower and dump everything out, but you don't need to do that. You can take the ammo out of your 73 the same way you put it in, through the loading gate. I'll show you how that works. Now, I hold the rifle thus, and I push in the loading gate with one of my fingers. I like this one. And I reach in on the right side of the breech bolt toward the rear and inside the carrier. So I depress the loading gate. I reach in there. And what I'm doing is I'm going to push the back end of the cartridge that's in the carrier over to the right. Now, when we loaded the rifle, we put the ammo in on an angle like this. And that's the angle we're going to take it out with. So I reach in. I depress the loading gate, I flip that round over, and there it is. Pretty neat. I reach in there, and I do it again, and there it is. Pretty neat. When I ejected those first two rounds, I had the help and the assistance of the magazine tube pushing back to help push it out the loading gate. For the last round, I don't have that, so I tip the barrel up slightly. I don't need to do this with it, but I just a, a little inclination on it to let gravity help us. And I stick my tool in, I move that round to the right, and then back a little bit, and it comes out. Now, I'll show you what's going on inside the gun. We have a cartridge in the carrier, and we have a breech bolt that sits about like so. Now what I'm doing is I'm reaching my tool down on the left side of the breech bolt and inside the carrier and on the left side of the cartridge that's in the carrier. Sounds complicated, but actually it works pretty well. I can just stick it in and there I am. Uh, and that's why these tools are made so thin and narrow, so they can get in and do this work. Now, <clears throat> once I reach in there and I push the cartridge over, uh, of course it's resting on the cartridge stop, which is the loading gate. And there's another cartridge stop on the other side, which is a piece of a receiver, but we don't need to worry about that. But I depress the loading gate, I move this cartridge to the right a little bit, and the next cartridge coming out of the magazine tube will actually push it and help us get it out of the gun. Now when we get down to the last cartridge, we do not have the benefit of the push from the magazine tube spring. And hence, that's why we tipped it up a little bit and uh, use gravity. Now I'll show you what I did. Now I stick the tool in, I move the cartridge to the right, and I actually use the tip of the tool on the rim of the case to start it going backwards. Kind of like that. And then it will come out. And again, I use the tool on the side of the cartridge, I use the tip of the tool on the rim to push it back. It works well. I'll show you uh, again <clears throat> using the rifle. Now I depress the loading gate. I slip into the left of the breech bolt and I kick that cartridge over and there it is jumps out. The next one, same thing, and it jumps out. The third one in here is the one is the last round, so I have to elevate the muzzle slightly. I reach in, I move it to the right, and start it going back, and there it is. And the gun's empty. A very slick way to empty the magazine tube on your 73 without taking the gun apart. It works really well. 
And uh, this little tool has made this size and shape on purpose so you can do this work.